What's up guys, this is Nick from stridewise.com and I am here with Joanna Denou from Carmina Shoemaker here in the lovely Mallorca, Spain. How's it going? Yeah, good, not too bad, how about you? I'm good, I'm good. Now, uh, I filmed a couple of videos out here at the factory, but this video is to answer the question that many people have when they get to the higher end of nice shoes. And that is, are Cordovan shoes worth it? Because when you see Cordovan leather shoes, or Cordovan shoes or boots on a, uh, on a shopping list, you will often see them at well over $700 is like the minimum, right? By the way, we want to apologize here because we are actually filming this inside Carmina's factory. So if you hear some noises coming in from the outside, <laughs> that's what that is. We decided the authenticity that offered uh, made up for the kind of annoying <laughs> background noise. All right, Joanna, what is Cordovan? Shell Cordovan is a premium horse leather. It comes from the rear side of the horse. And it's actually not as box calf. Uh, the, the, the difference between that is it's actually a, a connective tissue. It's a membrane. Yeah, some people which, think it's not leather, right? They, they say it's a membrane. Yes. It's not. It's not skin. So it's a. Yes, which is which is completely true. But that's the beauty of it, and that's what makes it so uh, unique. And I suppose uh, it's it's limited availability as well. It's what makes it right. really expensive. Because this is as big as it gets. Isn't yes. It, yes. it comes from the, the base of the horse's tail and uh, it's, it's got to be this bit of the horse. So it's uh, you get a very small amount from a, from a big animal and that's Definitely. one of the things that contributes to the price. It's probably the main thing that contributes to the price, right? Well, yes, partly that <laughs> and partly the fact that it comes in a limited availability and also limited colors. So that's also one of the, uh, the things that make it so unique. Then again, that combined with its unique characteristic, obviously you can see it's a very smooth, uh, lustrous leather um but its history uh as in as in how it's been tanned in the uh hallway uh, tanning factory it's also important it normally takes around six months for for one sh well for, for the shelter to uh, six to months it. yes for, for context uh a 100 percent chrome tan leather that that tanning process can happen in a day or two uh, vegetable tanning, I think, normally takes longer, like sometimes in week, weeks. Uh, this can take six months. That's another big part of why it costs so much money. Now, you're right, it is a very lustrous and beautiful leather. And we, we've covered why it is more expensive. Like, you get, you get less of it, it takes longer to make, more labor, more skill. But what are the what are the benefits of, of Cordovan over regular leather? Like, why, why would I pick it? Why would I pay the extra? Yes, well, obviously, uh, we source our shell Cordovan leather 100% from raw weed. And not, not, it's not just because we prefer it so, but it's also because our customers request it. Uh, because of its durability mm -hmm. and another point to mention and worth mentioning is the fact that it does not crease with time as box cut leather would do uh, well as basically any leather would do right exactly right exactly. so cordovan right. this this is a big thing with cordovan is that uh it, it doesn't crease it looks new for a really long time if not forever Indeed. yes that's, a, that's a big part of why people pay for Indeed. it so you'll see what's coming. Obviously, it does crease it, but the crease is named. It's called uh, roll. So, rolls, yeah. Yes, yeah, so you probably heard of uh, Cordovan rolls. Yeah, it'll. It won't look it like it won't look like the big deep folds. It's more like a more subtle kind exactly. of rolling that happens to yes. it as it ages. Yes. So that's that's what's different about it. It's it's durability. And, and maybe you, if you want the ability to, uh, to maintain its shape for a long time, actually with not very much care. As far as the durability goes, would you say it's more resistant to like tearing and uh, damage relative to like, a, I don't know, Chrome XL or regular full grain cow leather? Yes, indeed. It's, it's more durable in that sense as well. Shell Cordovan, the price is because it takes so much more time to make and because you get so much less of it off of an animal. And the properties of the leather are that it is basically crease proof and it's very very tough more resistant to tearing and so on than regular leather and effectively it looks newer for longer what do you think about the appearance of it right because i i feel like it's it's certainly in addition to the fact that it's tougher uh and it doesn't crease it's like got like a much more like lustrous sort of shine to it than the regular leathers you see, right? Like aesthetically, what do you think is appealing about it? Uh, so what I would say about it, it's that um, it doesn't need, as I said, it doesn't need that much care. Um, it's shining on its own. Um, and you can make it look 
formal or informal, depending on which style uh, and which sort of, uh, maybe if you want to outsaw, you'd equip it with or what sort of details are going into your shoe. Uh, I know some people prefer to use it maybe for, some, for more casual, in more casual um, scenarios. That's something I was surprised by when I came here. For me, I've always thought of Cordovan as a dressy uh, leather or dressy membrane, if you'd rather insist it's not leather. I've always thought of Cordovan as a, as a dressy material and I hadn't thought of it as something that you would you would wear for casual footwear. But like, for instance, this this nice casual shoe here, what do you call it? It's a tanker, is that what you call this? Yes, a Norwegian split toe. Right, it's got a storm well, it's got this like very informal uh, split toe and like mock design and nice leggy sole. This looks pretty great and you couldn't wear this with a suit, right? Like, it is more versatile than one might imagine, yes. I think, Cordovan. Nonetheless, you sell a huge amount of Cordovan shoes here at Carmina. What is uh, what's what's the most popular style that is that comes in Cordovan? What do people usually get Cordovan as? Well, they really prefer our boots, um, and they really prefer the casual styles in Cordovan. Really? Yes. My mind is blown with Cordovan being so versatile. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, but then also uh, we do do uh, loafers and hawk cuts, which are more uh, more more formal. Okay, great. Uh, what are other common questions you usually get about Cordovan? Is it waterproof? That's one I hear a lot. Yes. Well, obviously, um, if you spill too much water, you have to be careful, but it can be worn. If, if you're asking me if it can be worn in um, uh, like cold climates or rainy weather, then yes, it can. Uh, you just need to make sure that you wait for the, the, the shoes to dry before you brush them and uh, then go on with your routine just as, right. as normal. Yeah, generally, uh, as you said, a big part of it, even though it looks, uh, I would say, fancier than most cowhide leathers and looks newer for longer, uh, you don't get that extended longevity as a result of putting like a lot of work into maintaining it. Like what I'm trying to say is that like, uh, generally when you hear something like this, like kind of dressy or something that can be distressy, you think it takes a lot of work to maintain it because oftentimes pricier products take more work to maintain. The upshot of Cordovan is that it costs more, but it looks newer and you actually need less maintenance, even though it looks more formal than other footwear. So it's a really nice balance you get there from Cordovan footwear. You definitely get more cost per wear if you want to think it in, in those terms. What we also do uh, is we also uh, always equip our Carmina shoes with double bark tanned leather soles, which are famously known as their JR soles. So we always, always use this sort of outsole for our Cordovan shoes. And that's another thing that adds to the price. Cool. Makes sense. All right, that does it for our guide to Cordovan, which one might call the lazy man's dress leather because it looks nicer for longer with less work. Pretty cool stuff. Carmina was nice enough to let us film this at their factory. This isn't a sponsored video or anything, but they do actually have this tool on their website where you can design your own Cordovan leather shoe from scratch. So uh, if you want to check that out, you can make it as formal or informal as you want. That, that could be a good place to start your Cordovan Definitely. journey. But uh, thank you very much for having me. At the coming it was factory. a real pleasure. Yeah, I've had a, I've had a great time. It's been really, really cool here. Um, subscribe for more details, more videos from this trip, uh, and also just for more videos in the future about uh, nice leather shoes and heritage fashion stuff coming up. All right, I never know how to sign off my videos. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>